they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the frown. Can't hop out, then we clearing the crowd. And you're tuned into another talk of the town interview. And who do I have in the building today? On point like OP. Told him kick her work, trying to get bready. Back, back, hop. All in her stomach if she gon' let me up. Off the Casamigo. Gotta move in daddy. On point like OP, how you feeling? Great. You feeling great. Okay, so you giving me these little short answers. They cooling over. We're going to start off with a little icebreaker. So we're going to do rapid fire. You got to say the first thing that comes to your mind, right? Let's go. Your name? OP. Zodiac sign. Sag. Fun fact? Money. Money is a fun fact. That's the first, first thing, thing that, that came, came to, came to mind. mind. Unpopular opinion? Uh, I'm a bully. Your best pickup line? I can't give y'all that. Oh, we can't get the sword. No. All right. Um, something that you'll never forget. Uh, day I lost someone close. Biggest turn off. Liars. Artists who should stop making music. Eighty percent of them. One artist that should stop making music. Nah. You know you're from New York. If. Pause. Artist that should be disowned as a New Yorker. <clears throat> Batman's. You know what? You're getting me a little upset. But okay. Why? I Bat I, the people that sound like Batman. Okay, Batman's yeah. best <laughs> best album of all time. Best album of all time. My brother's keeper it ain't come out yet. Okay, craziest DM. Craziest DM. I get. I don't then there's a lot of weird shit that goes on in the DM. If you go with down in your DMs, okay. Freaky things. Oh, what's the Not even all the time. This yeah, bro, It don't even nasty. gotta be freaky. What's the craziest thing somebody slid in your DMs to say? Anything. People be talking gangster in my DM. I get threats, death threats of us every week. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm You be reading them? Yeah, we be responding everything. to them? Never. No. You leave them on scene. Nah. Okay. If I get drunk, I probably got time. Probably write one. So I got time today. <laughs> but like I got time today. Like the white boy, I got time today, cuz. Oh, I thought you okay. Um, nastiest food. <laughs> nastiest food? Damn. Taco Bell. Fuck it. Something you looking forward to. Mm, being a billionaire. One word to describe the end of the year. Lit. And one word to describe one word to describe OP. On point. Oh, okay. So we we broken ice already. Yeah. So let's get into it. You know, happy November. It's the first of the month. Definitely Brad, looking Brad, forward Brad. to yes. Looking forward to the end of the year. How's your year been so far? Yeah, I feel like it's been great. I've been consistent. I did a lot more than I could have. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did. I, I did. A, I did decent. I could do more. I always feel like I could do more. But what do you measure that on? Like you could do more in terms of what your music, or? everything in life, more money. More success, more mm -hmm. consistent, everything. I feel like I could just do more. I mean, I think that everything is relative. And I think we all do that to ourselves. But it's interesting to see, like, how much that you've done, actually. And the fact that you still feel like you need to do more is yeah, very I don't feel like I did nothing. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we're going to get into that. All right, so, OP, let me know, like, how did you get started in this whole music industry? Because there's so many people that fuck with you. You have years and years and years in this shit. Yeah. So, let us know, like, where did it all start? Uh, started in my crib. <laughs> in my mom's house. Um, okay. Shit. For mm. the people that don't know, let's set the scene. You in your mom's crib. What borough we in? Canarsie, Brooklyn. Okay. Continue. Yeah, well, I'm sure. I was used to just try to rap. I used to try to rap to myself. My brother used to always hear me, but I never went to a studio or nothing. Never took it serious. Then one day he went to the studio. Mm, I guess he tried to rap. I wasn't with him. Probably didn't go out. How he planned? Came back, told me like, "Yo, I got a studio. Yo, you 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 need to come. You can rap." I'm like, I know I didn't dub it because I never tried it. So why I must you know, feel me? Mm -hmm. Knock what I ain't try. Bro, me, I rapped. To everybody was jacking it. it. Felt like I, I felt just it just felt right. I just felt like it was something I always needed to do. Okay, and how long ago was that? Sure, now eight years. Eight years. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you said that your brother was the one that encouraged you to do music. Mm -hmm. Which brother is this? Scott. 
scrap. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you talk about scrap a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, my brother's keeper, mm-hmm. of course, we know it's coming out. Talk to us a little bit about like what role he played in your life and just like what that relationship is like. Mm, I don't know. Uh, he was my older brother. He ain't that older than me. He one year older than me, but he's still my older brother. Like so, it's like I don't know. He felt he always uh, picked up where I lacked. He was like my manager. He was my manager. It's not like my manager. Mm-hmm. He was my manager. He was just uh, teaching me what I didn't know, and he was more in like bro. He was intrigued about it as much as me. Mm-hmm. So it's like I didn't know. We didn't know nothing. I didn't know about a twelve or sixteen, a double, or in and out. Mm-hmm. None of that. I didn't even know how much a studio cost. So we it was like we was learning together, but he was more ambitious than me, honestly, because I felt like sometimes as someone on the outside looking in, you could see more mm-hmm. than the other person. So mm-hmm. I really didn't see it. So I just knew I wanted to rap. I didn't know where it was going with it. Right. Yeah. Okay. So if you had to describe yourself, and you'll see why I'm saying this, if you had to describe yourself in three words at that time when you first started making music, how would you describe yourself? When I first started making music, mm-hmm. um. Hmm. Hmm. Damn, that's crazy. I don't know. Um, there's so much things that I think about myself. Uh, I I I'm, I'm gonna say um. Hmm. That when I first started making music. When you first started making music, take yourself back to eight happy, years ago. Um, clueless. And happy, clueless, and ready. Happy, clueless, and ready. Okay. So as somebody who's just getting started, you have, you know, your brother on your side, y'all learning at the same time. How was it learning that, like, everything you think in this industry isn't always going to work? It's a lot of trial and error. Like, how did that feel, knowing that you were so ready, but you also weren't ready at the same time? Uh, I feel like that's life. You live to learn. Mm -hmm. If you don't live, you won't learn. So Mm -hmm. it's like, I feel like certain shit has just got to happen. If it doesn't happen, then you would have just been moving. Right. Um, and of course, now I feel like you've kind of taken on that like big brother role to a lot of people who are in the industry and up and coming now. Mm-hmm. Do you think that the relationship that you have with your brother impacted the way that you are to other people? Yeah, definitely. In what ways? My brother's always caring and giving. He does for others. I feel like that rubbed off on me, whether mm-hmm. I wanted it to or not. I don't feel like I've been selfish, but I think of doing things more now. Like I mm-hmm. think of it more now. Like I don't just. Like, some people, it's just in the act. Like, I'll do some shit out of just service, but some shit I do a touch it. Like, I want to help this person. I feel like I, and I don't have no ill intent. I just know I could do something. So I was like, why not do it? Mm-hmm. If I know I could do it, I need to do it. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel about certain shit. And not to say that you have reciprocation in your mind when you do things, but is there any times that you actually get it back? Because I feel like you dish out a lot. I feel like, you receive, receive? Um, yeah, I, I feel like, I honestly, I feel like I get less than what I give out, but fuck it. It is what it is. It's not going to stop me from being me. Right. Sometimes I felt like, yeah, I had people tell me that. And then I'm like, nah. If I stop doing it on a tent because someone did something bad to me, then I'm going to be changing who I am because of the person. So mm-hmm. it's like, I'd rather be who I am. So you be changing who you are. So who is OP? I know I gave you three mm-hmm. words to describe yourself before, but I want you to give me, now? you know what? Let's pick. Let's pick a song and a movie. Song that in. would describe you. That would capture who OP is. A song in a movie. A song, damn. That's crazy. A song in a movie. Uh, let's go. You could pick the movie first, and what song would be like in the All soundtrack? Right, let's go. Movie. Uh, Eight Mile. It's my favorite movie. Okay. A little oh. Eminem in there. So, <laughs> why Eight Mile? Uh, I feel like um, there's a lot of shit. My mom is white. So that's one thing. My mom was in like trailer park, but I was my mom was a single mom. Mm-hmm. Uh, shit, so certain shit I relate to. Um, um, Eminem was like a white black boy. I'm like, I'm probably the closest thing to a white black boy where I'm from. So it's like um, shit like that. Some people doubt him, and he always had faith in himself. I feel mm-hmm. like that about me. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes he'd been nervous. Like at his biggest points, I feel like that happened to me before. People, people just want to know you know. And then it's just like he was just always had a vision and stuck to it. That okay. was probably the best movie ever. Okay. And what song has to be on the soundtrack? I was to keep the same soundtrack, keep the song, everything the same. Oh, you would keep the same everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. So now when it comes to OP, of course, I have to ask you, on point, like OP is a very long name. Where did that come from? Uh, it came from a saying. My name was just OP, but um, mm-hmm. my friend one day, he was like, yo, my son Khalil, when he was in high school, he was like, yo, 
Um, y'all never slip a slide on point like OP. I'm like, yo, that's fire. Ooh, that shit heat. I'm like, yo, that's fire. <laughs> nah, really. I'm like, yo, never slip a slide. I'm on point like OP. I'm on point. Yeah, in fact, I'm always on point like me. I'm mm-hmm. like, yo, fuck it. And I just used it as a slogan. Last time, I didn't even mean it to be, end up being my artist name. Like, I fake rebranded, rebranded myself without knowing I was rebranding myself. Because mm-hmm. uh, before, people used to always tell me, like, oh, OP is mad hard to search up. So I needed to change it. And they used to tell me put OP 1090. And I never wanted to attach it to my name. I mm-hmm. don't know. I just never wanted to. Mm-hmm. So it's like, hey, as time went on, I just started putting it on point like OP. OP. And then it just stuck. So it's like, fuck it. I don't care. It's still me. So I don't really care. I feel like people, not, never. some people that never met me is going to call me on point like OP. People mm-hmm. that know me are going to be like OP. Right. So, so, so do you think that it's important to have a name like that that will stick out? Because you said that people were never going to find you. Was it just because it was two letters? Or do you think it was because it was like there's OP in so many different words? Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, it was a multiple reason. Like even mm-hmm. when you do a YouTube search, it's mad hard find op on a youtube search so mm-hmm. that's what it really was about okay. when after a time but i never cared about it because i got the name organically i just got it in the streets so that says it so it's like fuck it bro i didn't think of more of it i wasn't thinking hard of it and mm-hmm. i always liked the name because it made sense okay so for those that haven't seen op's interviews he makes it very clear that he stays on point just like his name so i want you to give us three things to stay on point, that you could do to stay on point like OP, and then three things that people do that's not, <laughs> that's, that's where they lacking, I would all say. Right. Yeah, all right. Shit. Three things you could do to stay on point like OP. Watch your surroundings. Do not send your locations to people you do not fuck with. Do not try to send your location, period. Send the locations to down the block. Tell them pull up. Call, they got to call you when they get there. Mm-hmm. That's number, and then number three, um, don't post in real time. Save it and post it for later. Yeah. So if you're a person of interest, you shouldn't be posting in real time. Um, now, I know that a lot of people And are, if you feel like you're not safe there, you're not safe there. You should know that. Right, right. And I know that a lot of people have been saying, like, don't post in real time following P&B's death. Rest in peace to P&B. Mm-hmm. Was that always the way that you moved? Or yeah. is that something that just, like... Nah, I don't know. That's, you you think, never post it in real time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Barely, hardly ever. It depends. It's, Catch me out the country. I'm posting in real time. You can't I mean, because yeah, me. nobody Fly, find come you. Get me shit. That shit. That's what I mean. I didn't that. But so, no, you got to know when to do it. It's a time and right. a place for everything. If I post in real time, I'm in my crib. You damn right. I'm right. Like, I mean, obviously, nobody know where you yeah, at. That's what I'm saying. You got to. It's a time and a place for everything. So, but don't just start. Don't start feeling too comfortable. Right. Don't get too comfortable. So how do you handle like your friends? Because I know that you don't roll by yourself. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of people with you. Are they all on code or like is like there some kind of? I should know it's common knowledge. And then if you don't know, you're going mean... to get on to him. And you're going to do it. No, 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 bro. We're not doing that right now. Save that for later. Common is not that common. But yeah, I, common see, sense I common. see the people you roll with. They yeah, yeah, yeah. they on time. Yeah, they they know screening. what's up. It's like a job. Right. You get a screen in. We screen you out. You good. You can roll. Hold on, because now I'm interested. What else yeah. <laughs> What else you look nah, for? Nah, with, nah, nah, what yeah. else you be looking for with the niggas that you nah, roll that's with? That's the main thing right there. Just be OP. So when I'm not, you got to, because I'm uh-huh. an artist. So certain times, I may be, I'm not on point. I got to cater to my fans. I got to cater to people. Mm-hmm. I got to be a people's person. So it's right. like, yeah, well, you definitely are a people's person, both in the business and when it comes to making your music. You. And you've been working with some people that, like, you know, we would consider legends in the hip-hop game, like yeah. Jim Jones. Like, yeah. so how has how was that, getting an opportunity to, like, work with Jim Jones and people who you may have been listening to uh, for shit. a long time? How was it working with Jim Jones? Great. Mm-hmm. I feel like um, it was really big for me because I, when I, what a lot of people don't know, I grew, like, working around Jim Jones because of Trav. Chav brought me around Jim, and then mm-hmm. when I first started rapping, I didn't know what a 12 or 16 was. Trav told me that, and Jim was there. Right. So Jim told me about ad-libs. He told me the importance of it. That's why I love ad-libs so much. That's a crazy thing. <laughs> He's one of the reasons. Because he told me balling was made off of ad-libs alone. And then he's like, yo, bro. He's like, ad-libs could make or break a song. So he was like, you just keep that in mind. I'm like, all right. Uh-huh. So, What's your favorite ad-lib to use? Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh... Uh, nah, no, um, regular shit, free scrap. Do you do you know like the ad libs that you're gonna use in the song like while you're recording it, yeah. or do you listen to it back and no, then you no, add no, them? No. Yeah, I'm, you already know. I know like, why it's going. Pussy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd be, I probably accidentally say it. I'm so ready to say it, like yo, pussy. They be like, yo, but yeah. Uh huh. So, um, okay. Mm. So, how do you? What do you think about like? 
the niggas like Jim or Joel's like, you know, they still making music now, 2022. How do you feel they like they keeping up um, with what's going on now? I feel like, um, yeah, no, nah, they definitely in tune and they definitely care about what we think about it. They they care about our input. So I really feel like I value them and they value us. So mm-hmm. the feelings is mutual. I feel like Jim is a, definitely a legendary OG and I appreciate him. Mm-hmm. So who were you listening to growing up? Well, Dipset, um, mm-hmm. G Unit, and I'm not even saying that because Jim Jones co-signed everybody. Right. I was influenced by Dipset. I had older brothers, but Dipset, um, G Unit, really Fifty Cent more than the OG Unit. Honestly, I ain't mm-hmm. throwing no shade to them. That's just me. Um, Eminem, um, who else? No, I wouldn't even lie. Outcast at one point they were so oh, popular. Oh, okay. You could not not listen to them. Shout out it's to not Outcast like I used to request to put them on, but it used to. I liked it when it came on. Mm-hmm. Like all the so videos. You say, hey. Yeah, that shit was fire. Okay. When it Love came that. on, um, who is fire? Um, yeah. Okay. Was. So you have like a, a good solid list of mm-hmm. um artists that you were listening to. Now, as a business and as an artist, does what you were listening to impact like what you look for in like who you work with or who you sign? Mm. No? I feel like it's a new generation, so it's like, that's not what I look for. I don't know. Is it, does it impact you as an artist? What, what I used to listen to? Mm-hmm. Does it impact me? Some people, it? like, find inspiration in the artists that they used to listen to. Some people create yeah, their I own. I feel like I found inspiration from my own things in my life. I okay. used to more relate to them because they was saying shit that I wanted to say or I related to regular music shit. Like right. That's just how music is. Uh-huh. I ain't feeling, nah, I feel like I already had events in my life that inspired me to rap. So, so when it comes to your sound, mm-hmm. do, does anybody inspire that? Or is like that I just... I like nobody. I probably say words that are similar to people. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I always... People like my A and R Bobby. Shout out Bobby. You try to say I sound like juvenile. I never heard that in my life. I do not feel like I sound like juvenile. Shout out to Bobby. But yeah, I don't, thank you, I thank don't you. think so either. I'm not gonna That's lie. what I'm trying to show you. But it's like I never really heard too much comparisons mm-hmm. that I never. I never really heard no comparisons. So to me, mm-hmm. I feel like I don't sound like nobody. But everybody feeds off of someone. I feel like I wanted to. I, I, I fucked with Jewels. Jewels was one of my favorite rappers growing up. But mm-hmm. I don't feel like I sound like him. So it's like. So how do how do your friends feel about your music? I don't know. You don't know? I, they when they I, don't be telling you nothing, or you don't ask oh, no, no, for no, no, like no. They, they give me input. But I don't. I want you got to go into detail what they feel about my music. Niggas said they fuck with my shit. Niggas play my shit all the time. So it's like mm-hmm. I'm trying to understand like what you mean. I'm trying to say like, do they like your music? Like, do you yeah. ask your friends for feedback? Oh no, yeah, yeah. I feel like if they don't give feedback, and then that means they don't fuck with it. Okay. And so I'd be like, certain shit don't need to be said. Certain shit, I feel like I, you're going to know. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, you're going to go forward with it. But nine times out of ten, yeah, I always want feedback. I've been rapping too long to not take criticism. I feel like mm-hmm. I always take criticism. And I feel like people hear me say it, and they think they just they could just give out their opinions. Uh-huh. Like, uh-huh. It counts. Like, it unsolicited. Doesn't. We don't yeah, need to doesn't. hear it. Only Sometimes it I don't care about certain people's shit. But I take heed. I try to a lot. Because OP, I'm not going to lie, it do seem like you got a lot of yes men in your corner. Nah. So it, it seems it seemed like that. I'm yeah, really not going to lie. Like, it does seem like I you feel have. Like I, I feel like everybody is not yes men, but everybody is not as musically talented as other people. So with some one person hears mm-hmm. is, is another person. You might hear that, yo, I might be, I sound better on these beats. To them, they li- literally listen to what I'm saying. Mm. And they're probably with me living certain of these shits or they seen certain of these shits. So they really relate to it so no it doesn't matter what beat it was on they mm-hmm. relate to the lyrics some people listen for the lyrics some li- people listen for the production mm-hmm. some people listen for both so it's like i'll I be understanding so I, I try to take heed to everything okay so when you make music is there anything that you focus on the most that well yeah, the lyrics me, i feel like yeah me now nah, it's like um i don't know i go off the vibe mm-hmm. and definitely the lyrics it's the vibe and the lyrics mm-hmm. and i try to just stay in pocket mm-hmm. ride the beat and you know okay definitely i care about what i'm talking about so when you post a song, post a video, do you read the comments? Yeah. And what do you think about what people have to say about you? Some people is want attention. Mm-hmm. Some people hate, they want attention. Some people genuinely want to give me their opinion, they don't know how to say it, or some people mean good. Mm-hmm. So it's like, look at me. every good comment isn't good. Some people are just dick riders looking for attention. Mm-hmm. And every comment, every bad comment isn't really bad. Mm-hmm. So it's like... Because, you know, I'm not... I. This is my opinions out of it. But mm-hmm. a lot of the time when your music is involved and it gets posted, you have a lot of people who comment like, he needs to give it up. He needs to I'm, stop making music. I'm, so, like, what do you have to say to those people that feel like you need I to just hang it up? I have a list of rappers. 
I have a list of rappers that I a can list. name that is way worse than me. But I would not do that. <laughs> I would not throw shade towards rappers. I would not do this, and I'll be the bitch nigga. But I have a list, a very list, and we could go off camera maybe. I definitely want to go off list. camera. It's long. They drill rappers and all that. They whack as shit. And niggas be calling me whack. And I don't understand. I, and I every gotta say, time, OP. Every time. Like, every yeah, I know. I feel like it, it's fun to throw shade. But even Ray Ray said it to me like another time. He was like, yo, bro, everybody that hate on you. He's like, yo, bro, I'll even tell you, bro, you got nicer, bro. Mm -hmm. So if niggas keep saying you whack, they just, they just don't like you at this point. Mm -hmm. And that's how I start to feel. And I don't care. You don't like me. I got money. So it's like, <laughs> I got <laughs> rap money. Fuck street money. Fuck what we talking about. I got what people want. You making want. money off the song. Yes, I got what people want. And I know how to keep making money. So it's like, man, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. People don't like Freddie Gibbs. He sell records. And I don't, I don't know him. I got nothing against him. Niggas don't like a lot of niggas that sell records. Niggas don't like Russ. He sell records. Niggas don't like a lot of niggas. I like Russ. Niggas didn't like Little Pump. He's a bozo and he was whack. And he don't sell. And he sold records. Bro, mm -hmm. you don't need to like me. You don't need to like me. Okay. No. So you don't let the comments get to you? No, I don't. Because at first, yeah. First it is, because I used to, but I really feel like I got better. And now y'all just on my dick. <laughs> now on my dick. You think y'all not listen to these songs? And y'all too busy riding dick? Y'all need to go listen to the song. Listen to Stick Up. Listen to Host Say That. Listen to Tie Dot. Anything I drop in the whole fucking 2022, uh -huh. and you say it's whack, you on my dick. Nah, I, facts. I put this listen on my life. to the whole I kiss the that. floor. I kiss the floor. I'm good. I stand with confidence as I am right now. I'm good. They just okay. big riding me. I done sat down. All right. I done had niggas like upper call me whack. I sit down. I'm not whack. So what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> okay. So what you saying is they talking, but when but no, they I'm see giving, you in person, no, they be a different, different story. Giving, That's no, what I took I've been told this before. So either I got nicer or they just, it's just people don't like me. Okay. So, all right. So and I'm just using upper as an example because that's the only person that had something to say about me that I actually got to meet. So I give up for his ratings. But when you pulled up, you said that he said you was good. Yeah, but I felt like that. I felt like I did get better. So it's like, fuck it. Okay. You said I was whack. I would have pulled him up on it. Like, how am I whack? <laughs> and you have to go into detail. Now I'm going to have comparisons. You I'm said, gonna look at the person. material. I'm going to compare someone to me and ask you, is they whack to you? <laughs> and I'm like, all right, they not whack to you? So how the fuck am I whack? Because they whack to me. And I'm explain how they whack. Okay, but you never thought that maybe your whack and somebody else's whack are just different? So oh, shit, then they better start. I cannot they wait. They better detail. Because you. OP. Oh, it's a list of niggas. Bro, oh my God. OP, bro. as much. Nah, I, got, I bet someone this. Someone do their top five whack niggas that's not their ops and they serious. I'm going to do mine. And I'm serious. Okay. Guys, I don't want to be the niggas that throw shade on first. rappers. I'll be the first. I'm telling you. Y'all heard it here first. And OP. Oh my God, I'm like, his lips is so true. As much as I want to continue this interview, I cannot wait until the cameras come off because I really want to know who's on your list. Yo, I bro. really want to know. Oh my God. Nah, let's, you let's itching now. I saw, the, yeah, I saw the, the pinky come out. Let's go on the next question. Bro. I saw the pinky come out. All right. Go. So we're going to pivot. You know, we see the 1090 on the chain. Yes, yes. We know what's going on with that. But for the people who don't know, let us know what 1090 is and how it got started. 10 plus 90 means to be 100. 1090 got started by me and my brother, Scrap 1090, who's currently incarcerated, free Scrap. But, um... It started just to better ourselves and better artists around us. As we noticed, we got a platform. We decided to make an LLC mm -hmm. and really use the brand. And we noticed how big the brand was. It started to be bigger than us mm -hmm. in Central. So it's like, um, yeah, why not use it and help, you know, kids. Right. So at, so at what point did you start to see it pick up? Because I know, like, as a mm -hmm. business owner, sometimes, like, Business could start off very slow. I don't know if it did for you. No, 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 no. It do. I feel like uh, with, with any business, you got to live to learn. Like mm -hmm. you know, You're going to make mistakes. You're going to do bad business decisions. It's, it's meant to happen. Right. Some people are going to crash out worse. Some people are not. Mm -hmm. right. But um, no, nah, definitely a learning experience. Um, still learning as I go. I feel like everybody's supposed to learn. If you stop learning, you're dumb. But um, <laughs> if, I mean, everything in, I always learn. Right. So um, yeah, I'm just growing. But no, nah, definitely in the beginning, definitely wasn't making no money. But definitely always had a vision. So it's always not about the dollar. Like, right. Like, of yeah. course. But like, at what point did it start to change? Um, I would say, um, I say right before I linked Bobby and Ronnie. So pivoting back to 1090, how has it been managing? Um. The label with your brother who's incarcerated. What is that like? Not easy. 
But I feel like nothing is easy. But I feel like it's more not easy now with my brother. My brother gives great ideas, great advice. It'll be it'll be easier with him here, of course. It was a helping hand. I feel like he's an person that influences himself. So certain links he would have got on his own certain mm-hmm. shit. But um, um, it's not easy. Period. It's just not easy. Anything I'll tell anybody that it's not easy working with artists. Artists. I know this as being an artist, and I, sometimes I know more than my brother and my other business partners. Mm-hmm. It's like artists are emotional. It comes with a lot of emotion. So it's like I, me knowing this helps me deal with artists and they outbreak. Or they probably try to get disrespectful in some form or way. Mm-hmm. But so it's like, yeah. So I take heed to certain shit. But it's just only because I'm on both sides of the fence. Okay. So what's the situation that is like something that you really learned from being in this industry for so long? What's something that has happened that either got you tight, you wasn't Don't expecting? Close on no one. Don't invest in cosign no one. This regular business, you should know this, but then it's common sense is not common, I guess. And but do not invest in cosign and nobody that is not in, in on paperwork with you. So that was your Don't experience. Don't go for word of mouth, no verbal contracts in this business. We're not doing that. Oh, how long ago did that happen to you? I don't know. I learned more than once, but I'm good. More than once. Mm-hmm. Care to share any stories? Nah, nah, nah. nah. We good. I okay, no that's fine. Mm-hmm. So, what's your slate looking like now? Who signed to 1090? Uh, Mulajis. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah, me and Moolah G's. So as a music exec, how does it feel when you have an artist that gets locked up like Moolah is now? Uh, I feel like, yeah, uh, I feel like that's what makes me different than other labels. Um, that's just being an independent label and feel like I came from the streets and I, I care about incarceration. Mm-hmm. I feel like certain shit you do not have control of. Yeah, it's like you could have planned it. I didn't really know. I didn't know at all that Moolah was going to jail, but it's not, I'm not going to put him to blame for nothing. It's like certain shit just happened. I'm so sorry, but it's a fly on your shoulder yeah. that was just pissing me off to look at. It's trying to let me um, so, do you said it's trying to let you know you fly? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please. Okay. It's by you now. So, so what do you look for when it comes to like signing people? Like, what would you um, consider to be star quality? Uh, ambitious. Uh, have a backstory. Anybody want a story to sell? Mm-hmm. Unity. People love to buy into families. I feel like mm-hmm. you know, being you want to get unified. I see you show love to your man and be your friends. Mm-hmm. But no man for man's bullet for that. Um, but show love to your friends. You feel me? And then shit like that. It's like I mean, I judge you on character too. I'm big on that, man. I judge okay. You on character. But your talent plays a big part. I'm big in the talent, and you're you're driving it. I feel like Mula will work without me telling him. Mm-hmm. Mula will go to the studio without me telling him. Mm-hmm. And the Mula will shoot videos without me telling him. Right. Mula wants it. I don't have to tell him to want it. I can't force you to want to be a star. And that'd be the other part with certain people. We wanted it more than them. Mm-hmm. And that was the problem. People be lazy. They don't know how much you work you really have to put in. Someone uh, someone would be in my shoes and feel like they did enough when I feel like I didn't even do enough. Yeah, so and you said like, that at the top of the interview. Yeah, so it's like. That's just all it is. You can't make time. I feel like that's the main thing. Mm-hmm. Hard work, be talent. They always say, and it really is. It's whack people out here. It's mad fucking trash rappers. I said this earlier. <laughs> mad whack rappers, but they working hard. Them niggas will drop a video in their white tee. Yeah, no effort. Niggas will overthink and go spend five thousand dollars on an outfit and didn't even market the video. Yeah. Um, so it's like, yeah. Okay, so who are like three people that if you could sign them tomorrow, you would want to sign? If three people, if I could sign them tomorrow, who are they? Mm-hmm. Uh, Let's do upcoming. Up and coming? Uh, you want to name people? No, you. I want no, you to you name, people. name people. I want you to name people. You're no. being interviewed, not me. Name one. Devin? Yeah, she I mean, signed already. Okay, it don't matter. Sign or not. Oh, yeah, I see. If the, I didn't know that. I was thinking, that, like, like, nah, yeah, of course. I'll sign Devin. She's talented. I'll sign most. I'll sign Lola. I'll sign Devin. Okay. i fucking sign. I'll sign most of the girls. You I'll sign Maya the Dawn. Love That's her. That's all three of them. Okay. What about Ice Spice? I was talking her too. Okay. She's marketable. Yeah, her, mer- her music, I feel like, it, but she's just new. So that people mm-hmm. probably feel bad because she's bigger than me and I'm saying this. I feel like she just needs to work on her shit. So wh- what do you think? So when it comes to something like that. I feel like, like her that, hooks is catchy. Her verse is going to just be more solid. She just got to build more confidence. So that's going to come with time and know this is her sound. Mm-hmm. Really know like, yo, this is, this is your sound. Mm-hmm. And how do you it. how do you feel about the way that people have been receiving her? Because I mean, she's blowing up. You mm-hmm. just said that she's bigger than you. I don't want to misquote you. That's what mm-hmm. you just said, right? She has a big but record. you know, with mm-hmm. that, there are a lot of people, especially from New York, who are talking about her as well and saying mm-hmm. she's a one hit wonder and mm-hmm. that they don't think that she deserves to be where she's at. What do you think about that? I feel like I don't, I don't try to count no one out. Right, that's the main thing. So it's like I feel like I wish the best for her. I hope she's not. 
right. shout out to Ice Spice. And yeah. you just you did your thing with Bikini Bottom, girl. Yeah. Cause so it's like, exactly. Like, and that's another record. So if that goes anywhere as big as much, what they're going to say? Right. She got lucky. So it's like, they're going to always throw shade. Mm-hmm, I mm-hmm. hope the best for her. Okay. So, you know, unfortunately, today was a very sad day in hip hop. Yes. We got news that um, Takeoff passed away. Yeah. Um, as an artist, what what are your thoughts when you hear about stuff like that with other rappers um, being killed? I feel like um, and we all knew this. Uh, being a person of interest is dangerous. I hate when they try to specify on being an artist. Being an artist, it is. It's because yeah, we're more in the spotlight. We spend more than other people. But anybody with money and clout is in danger. Period. And I don't. His situation is very sad. It's unfortunate. But it it, it wasn't due to rap. I don't feel like it was due to rap. It was mm-hmm. a situation from whether we here. It's the wrong place, the wrong time, and it's just sad. I don't gamble because it's just certain shit I don't like. I don't like how niggas talk when they gamble. I'm not having certain niggas talking to me certain ways. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I know me knowing that, I'm not going to gamble because I may escalate situations. Mm-hmm. But that's me just being smart. I mean, so that's just like certain shit I stay away from. I just feel like you just got to be smart. Stay on point, literally. Watch your surroundings. Uh, man, think of the... Think for the worst, plan for the best. Mm-hmm. Anything can happen anyway. So how do you feel about when stuff like that happens, even though, like you said, it wasn't related to rap or anything? The conversation always comes up Back after to, that. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. But of right. Course, you're about gangster rap. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but um, how do I feel about that? I feel mm-hmm. like it just puts me more on my P's and Q's. Okay. I can't stop living my life. Mm-hmm. So it's like I just got to be more aware, more on point, and just try to learn from their mistakes. Don't put myself in those situations. hmm so when it comes, like, what's the balance between, like, when you start getting that attention, you start getting that clout, where do you think is the balance between thing, places and things you can do when you're, like, lit that you can do without security or that you can, like, feel comfortable versus things that you have to be on point, have security and all of that I for? I feel like, um, man, sure, you could try to be right, man. This is life. There's no telling when, 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 when and what something's going to happen. You could feel the most comfortable. Shit could happen at your house. Like, the baby shot someone in his house. Like mm-hmm. It's like, you never, you never know when something can happen. It's just like, man, you're just supposed to be prepared for the worst. Okay. It's sad to say in life. Right. But it's like, um, you, you would want to have security majority of the time, but sometimes even the baby said at certain points I could agree with. Some security, some of them are just higher guns. They don't not. They're not gonna really shoot. They for can't you. really protect. They're yeah. just there to. They're just a person with a gun. That don't mean they're gonna throw their life away for you. Mm-hmm. You're just another paycheck. I just got paid seven hundred dollars today for you. Right. You think I'm gonna die for you for that seven hundred? <laughs> uh, compared to your friend that been slept with you, seen you broke, seen everything. Come on, he probably gonna die for that seven hundred. Right. This other nigga, nah, uh, uh, run, take cover first, like. NYPD protocol, take cover first and then respond. So you would it's like I'll be already dead and then you killed the killer after I'm fucking mad. Right. So I'm you mad. <laughs> the fuck is you talking about? I'm ready to fight. So you prefer and fuck the killer. Not fight in heaven and fuck the killer. Ki- first shit, of all, shit. you would not be fighting in heaven with your killer. I'ma tell you that. Yeah, shit, shit. Fight. Cause you might be there, but I can't guarantee that they'll. He did this shit to me. I ain't even here. Fuck that. Fuck that nigga. Fuck you too. You might have to take a trip the other direction because I I don't know if you'll meet the killer up there. So okay, so I know that you work with a lot of the younger up and coming artists, and of course they're seeing what's happening. They're talking about a lot of this gangsta. Shit as well. Um, what are those conversations like outside of the music? Like, do you talk to them on a personal tip about this kind of stuff? Of course. Once I watch it, you got to know you are of value. Don't feel like just because you're not making money, someone don't feel like you are mm-hmm. worth money and they will take your life for the spot that you got. Mm-hmm. And, man, just try to stay out the way as much as you can, man. It's, it's, it, sound, it sound easy. Mm-hmm. I mean, it sound easy. But, yeah, it could be hard sometimes, but you just stay focused, bro. It's a bigger picture. Okay. Everybody got to remember, y'all, you're not rapping just for clout. Y'all rapping to take your moms out the hood or take yourself out the hood. So right. It's like, stay right. focused. So, speaking of the youngins, you were promoting Lil Scrap Heavy. Of course, I know that that's your nephew. Um, and I know now there are a lot of other young artists, yep. um, such as, like, Didi Osama, yep. Sugar Hill, Didi, and stuff. What are your thoughts on... The young, young dudes. I have a lot of call y'all niggas. I feel like what, what's, what's your thoughts on them? Making I feel music? like, um, I feel like, I don't know. I don't want to say, feel me? I feel like Little Scrap, 
Yeah, he was young, but uh, mm. how would I say? say I feel say like what Scribe, you say. Little Scribe took all the shade so they could shine. That's how I really feel. I feel like a lot of people okay. threw shade on him when he was just being a rapper. And these kids, I feel like they, they give off a little bit more than that. Than what my nephew was giving off. Mm -hmm. And it's like, hey. It's like, um, you feel me? I don't know. Yeah, because they he was took in the, the shade comments. So, that's bro. what I would really say. He took the shade so they could shine. Because right now it seems cool for them to do this. Mm -hmm. And when he was doing it, I'd seen all the backlash. Yeah. I dealt with it. I was the one outside it's with him. still It's still happening. Low yeah. key. Because I was in the comments. Yeah, so. I was in the comments and I see it. But what are your thoughts even outside of the I backlash? I feel like it just need to be music. That's the main thing. If, when they start taking it outside of music, is they they losing their self. They're not being real with their self. Mm -hmm. I don't think none of them little kids hurt nobody. Mm -hmm. No fuck what they got to say. They can fool me. I don't give a fuck. They probably punch somebody. They never right. the fuck out of there. So it's cool. So when you were working with Lil Scrap, was he actually enjoying doing that? Or yeah. was that? Yeah. We didn't make him do music. At first, he was doing TikToks and shit. Mm -hmm. Honestly. No, I, not TikToks, dancing more because I don't know if he was posting on TikTok. So that's why I say TikTok because dancing is right. more TikTok based. But he was really dancing and just trying to be that like a person in videos at first. Mm -hmm. Now I felt like he didn't get the attention that he wanted because you know every little kid really want to be famous. That's what I feel. Mm -hmm. like, they want to be famous. Even they don't though, know nothing about money until now. The internet makes them know about money, but right. they don't really know what they could do with money. Mm -hmm. so you think they really focused on the money part? They really focused absolutely on not. The they have. They want to have fun. Yeah. They want to be lit. I'm so sure people was. Coming I felt up like he wasn't school. getting the attention with the dance dancing as he wanted to and then mm -hmm. people was always telling him try rapping mad rappers he's always around rappers because he's with me right everybody always telling him it's like and you know what i can't help but to think not to say that you're wrong with mm -hmm. what you're saying but yeah. i can't help but to think that a reason why he got so much backlash is because people thought that it was something that y'all were forcing him to no, do mm -hmm. and now it's like with the dds they it, it looks, looks like they it, but, actually right, this is what someone explained it all right little scrap was rolling with us Mm -hmm. We're grown. What the fuck does he look like? I'm not doing that in no video with my nephew. For real. Like, I'm grown. Right. I'm being real. He little They're with other little kids of their age in the... They're all doing the same shit. If he had other little niggas that was doing what he was doing, they would have looked the same. Right, right, he right. He was right. the only one. He was an outcast, and he's with mad grown men. All of us ain't moving like that. So it's like, bro, we the structure to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's rapping about it. That's why when French Montana said the best, I feel like we was in a... He's still in a better position than them. No throw, no shade to them. We're like the friend... We're like the little Wayne... To this shit, bro. Little Scrap was Little Wayne, bro. He's with grown niggas talking this life, but he's really with us. And this is like, uh, mm -hmm. it's like, if you look at Little Wayne's story and compare it to Little Scrap, I feel like it go coincide. And I didn't think of this. French Montana told me that personally one mm -hmm. day. He's like, yo, bro, I feel like he Little Wayne. Niggas don't understand. Just keep doing what y'all doing. Mm -hmm. So you saying Little Scrap walked so that the niggas now could run? Yeah, I really feel like that. Okay. It, he got all the backlash, so now they can shine. Because now I feel like they would try not to give him his credit because some of them... Probably feel like he's an op because he did songs with K-Flock, but I know he influenced them. Mm. He's still the youngest flexor. My nephew is only 12 years old or mm. 11 years old. He's way younger than all of them. He's been doing it before them. He has millions of views before them. So they could try to discredit him. He did it before them. Whether he takes a break, comes mm -hmm. back in two years, mm -hmm. he's still great in a great position, I feel like. So I don't, I don't complain. Okay. I, I mean, for me, it's just so crazy because they're so young. The, yeah, main, the most important. So yeah, that's what none. I was going to say. The I'm most important part. I'm shit on him. So it's like, y'all don't see him right now. He's doing what he wants. That's why. Being a kid as yeah. he should. Yeah. Doing his thing. So in the same way he, how he wanted to do music. He's going to do the same shit. So right. So. All right. So we're going to take a little break from the interview questions. Yeah, and we're yeah. going to get into Come another on. game. Let's go. So I'm going to ask you or give you rather a series of scenarios. And you're going to tell me how you will move on point like OP in these situations. I okay. All right. So you in the studio, you know, you're doing your thing, cooking up. And you look over and you see an engineer texting your ops. Telling them that you not only in the studio, but they valid to pull up for their session right after yours. Oh, yeah. We spanking him, and I'm out of there. You spanking the engineer, and you yeah, out of yeah, there. I'm smoking him. Taking his phone, all of that. Smoking, okay. Smoking. So what comes after that? Now, are you telling people that he moved like an op and he did no, this? No, no, no. I'm good. It's just, it happens. You never fuck with him again. I'm never it is going to that at. studio again. That's my safety was compromised. I don't feel safe, and he should know he was getting beat up because he, he should be self-explanatory. Uh -huh. He'll be fine. Okay. So, next scenario, you go through your girlfriend's phone, and you see that, you know, you're just scrolling through the Insta, and a little notification pops up, and it's like, okay, bet. You click the message, and she just sent her phone number to some random nigga that you don't know. 
She's clipped. What you what you do? She's clipped. You're not asking no questions or nothing. I probably tried, but girls is good liars, so it's no point. <laughs> well, y'all had y'all shit premeditated <laughs> in your head. Y'all probably said any excuse again, money with the nigga, some type of. Shit. I don't want to hear this. Yeah, your so you're not giving the benefit nope. of the doubt in in that situation. Mm-mm. Once you start, once you start creating doubt, is you start losing each other. Like, okay, so know. are you saying the doubt came from you checking the phone in the first place, or did yeah, the doubt yeah, come from you? Too. Yeah. So you don't check phones? No, I did before. This is like a bad, bad trip. Right, you got to live to learn, though. Okay, but you don't check phones now. Yeah, right now at this moment. <laughs> right now at right, this right, moment, right, right. so you need a reason to go through phone. Yeah, if I don't trust you, I'm good. But if you no, don't, I'm, good. You I'm not going through no phones. Though. If I don't okay. trust you, I'm leaving you now. Because uh, I went I through it and went and escalated. I don't want to bring myself to that point. Yet. I completely agree. I yeah. am not a girl that goes through the phones because yeah, I don't want to see nothing that I, yeah, just yeah, know. If I even feel like, yeah, I'm good. Okay. So you at your girlfriend's birthday dinner. She got a table of 12. You sitting right next to her. She at the head of the table. Y'all having a great time. The bill comes out and heads go doom, doom, doom. Like, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? And they all looking at you. Yeah, and I start counting. Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> <laughs> and I start doing math. Like, hell, hold up. I went to school. I got me and her. Just deduct. What is all everybody else doing? Y'all took shots and shit. <laughs> now that y'all had the that lobster. Shit, that made the bill go chicken. up. Okay, so you not paying for meals at birthday dinners. Hmm. All right, if it was pre-intended, if, it was, if, it, if I already knew this is what I was doing, then yeah, granted. Okay. But if y'all think y'all just putting it on me, nah, I don't respect that. I'm not a sucker. I'm not a trick. You got to be the one to initiate yeah. it. It no, can't it be expected. No, it got to be premeditated. Okay. You got to let me know. Me and my friends are going out. Dinner's on you, baby, please. Then let's do this. Yeah, I, I, I okayed it from the beginning. It's not like uh, this is a surprise. I got too much pride where I'm not going to tell these other females no. Okay, but in a situation like a birthday dinner where you some knew. Because they'll pay because they got too much pride. Oh, yeah, I'm fucking her. Not fucking everyone. Said, I'm, I'm not fucking that. Like y'all all fucking tonight? Y'all following? Get the I'm paying. niggas to pay. No. Like, I know I'm fucking her tonight. So it's like a lot of bills right now. I didn't know I was doing all of this. If I knew this, if I knew premeditated, I'll But do OP, it. it's a birthday. You knew you should have knew her birthday no, from no, when no, y'all no. first started if talking. I have plans on spending thousands of dollars on gifts. Okay. Big gifts okay. in my head for birthdays. All right. So, I'm looking at dinner like, oh, no, 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 no. Y'all, y'all wanted to celebrate with her. Okay. I'm celebrating her. So y'all want to be here? Pay your way. All right. You got to pay your way. I mean, hey, personally, if my that's, nigga want to pay for the dinner, that's cool. But I think it's wild for everybody to expect. That's so what I'm what saying. If you expecting it in your, in your head, you got it in I your head. I do think that's wild. If, if I, I understand some people don't got it, I have no choice but to put up the extra. But yo, bro, y'all think automatically he's the bank? Yeah, you lost me. You're done. You're done so, here. The show ends right here, right now. <laughs> We're going to end it. We're done. All right. All right. So when you go out with your bears, we go out with the bros. How y'all be handling the bill? Y'all be splitting it? it Is there somebody? It depends on the mood. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. Okay. It might be one nigga be like, nah, I got it. I said that. Nah. Niggas ain't arguing. Uh-huh. You got it. Right. Dude, Who's going to complain it. about that? Some day niggas might look at each other, y'all. He paid for his own shit. Oh, I know what day this is. Okay. Oh, he on that? He paid for his own shit. I paid for my own shit. We on that today. All right. It's so- like, you gotta communicate without even communicating. Right. It's like understood. When it's understood, don't gotta it be don't said. Gotta be he explained. paid for his shit, or when they ringing it up, yo, separate. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I know what it is. It's nah, done. I'm sorry, but it's always something about that first person saying separate checks. Hey, That's I don't like, feel no way. I, I, you set the tone. No, 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 no. You the definitely set, set the tone. You, I definitely the agree. Tone. The tone is set. I'm good. I'm I good. definitely agree. But are you ever the separate checks, nigga? Or oh, yeah, are you the one that on waiting for the for the person to mood, do it? Like, nigga, I seen you with you. You ordered too much. Let me <laughs> cut this check right now. I don't know what the fuck you thought just went on. You're bugging. You're bugging the fuck out. We should, I'm telling you this right now. You had too, too many shots. I ain't even drink that much. Nah. We shit separate. Them shit's expensive. We could have got a bottle. And <laughs> like, I think you used my head. More on point, you're bugging. Okay, okay. And it's best, nah, you're bugging. All bugging. right. So next scenario, who's your favorite artist right now? Damn, right Who's now? the artist that you would love to work with? Everybody would love to work with Drake. Give me a song right now. Okay, all right. Go to the moon. All Never right. Come back. So you get a chance to work with Drake. Yeah. Y'all get in the stool, mm-hmm. and he like, you know what? I don't care what you got already. We're going to come up with some shit right now on the yeah. spot. You start writing, and you catch writer's block. I'm asking him. You asking him to write? I don't to have write to have, yo, bro. I'm already in the room with Drake. I'm, my, I'm not ruining my opportunity. Yo, bro, I'm nervous. I'm fucking, I might as well tell you. <laughs> 
You as big as shit. I don't need this shit to flop. Want to help me? <laughs> Nigga, okay. He got writers. I don't feel like he should look at me no way. Like, I'm telling you, I need... Nah, I got some of it. You want to help me? feel like I need some... Okay. I'm not... Because I ain't going to I mean, do I, that. I'm not going to... Yo, I'll do it later. I'll come back. I might no, just... No, it's now my, or never. Would, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's I now or never. I'm going to be there. That would, I take three hours, spit some bullshit. He's going to be like, yo, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm going to be real. Like, yo, I ain't going to lie. You got me under pressure. Okay, so you asking him. So let's say he he writes some shit for you. It come out good. Now when the song drop, are you telling that story? Yes. I don't give a fuck. Okay. I, I could write my own shit. I could do my own shit. You're not taking nothing from me. Yes, you help me. I take help from my friends in the studio at times. I think I won't take help from Drake. I plan them recording. Come help me. Y'all niggas think too much of this. Well, with Meek, Meek Mill probably guys think I'm not a rap battle rap artist, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm not that. I'm trying to be rich. I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty hood hood. I don't know what uh-huh. the fuck. I didn't. Rap. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm rich, rich, rich. Drake, Heard write my you. shit. Talk rich, your rich, shit, right Obi. Write my shit. Platinum tonight, right, Drake? Like tell him that. Like we gonna name this platinum. It's the name of the song. So you very much the numbers speak for themselves. Mm-hmm. Performance over actual like writing oh, no, ability. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because that's what it kind of no, 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 seemed no, 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 like no. to me. I'm saying no. I'm, no, 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 you, no. Cause what? I like putting in work to it, but I'm not against a writer. Like, I'm not, I don't have that much pride where I'm so in-depth in my work where I feel a way if someone's helping me. So, OP, if, let's say, every time you drop a song, not mm-hmm. to say your music is trash, but every yeah. time you drop a song, you get nothing but bad feedback. Yeah. Somebody reaches out to you and they be like, I've worked with this person, i worked with this person. Like, let me just write your shit. You would let them write all of your songs moving no. forward? That is never, no one can never write everything for me. Okay. I, never. So you still you want a piece a of you. You fucking song for me? Could never in your life. Could never. Could okay. Never, could never. Could never. I'm taking out mad shit because you're going to, I know you're going to say some shit I'm not jacking. So. That doesn't represent me and I am my brand. I know this as a rapper. I'm uh-huh. the brand. So what I'm spitting represents me. So you think you're going to give me some bullshit? Yeah, kiss my ass. Probably make me talk <laughs> kiss like. My ass is bad, kiss my ass is mad. Kiss my ass. Delete that. Yo. <laughs> Change that. All right, we good. You helped. You contributed. Right. So you still got to get writer's credit. Right. People don't know this. Yo, bro, your man's can give you two bars, and he's supposed to be your writer on your shit. Mm-hmm. Literally. Like you be giving don't... writer's credit? No. No. Fuck. You better <laughs> okay. ask. No, I just you learned gotta this. Ask I just know that I'm just like, but no, yes. Close mouth don't get fed. Fuck you think. Writers okay. don't even get writer's credit if they don't say nothing. You not like, yo, I did tell they ain't all saying. Like, yo, bro, I helped, boy. You like, not this wrong. this and this, I gave that. Yeah. I think even with the song that Rihanna just dropped, Thames wrote it and she like posted it on her social even the media. She, shit. I'm go to some oh, with J Lo? Don't No, me. Young Blue. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Because I was about to say, but, we know the T was Shanti and J Lo. I didn't even know that. But that, that's oh, okay. what I'm trying to tell you. It's like, it's mad writers, but now writers don't be. I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not against working with writers. I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm at a point where I'm trying to grow. If you can help me grow, grow. Drake got writers. That nigga's the biggest artist in the. And the, the niggas try to bash him. He still did good. Okay. He showed and proved right there. He he's a living statement. Not to say that I, I respect niggas that write everything on their own and is doing great. Mm-hmm. I, I Meek Mill is a great rapper. He's top tier, mm-hmm. number one. But I'm just saying, I'm not against working with writers, bro. I'm not from that era where Meek Mill is from. I'm not from a... But that's what I mean. I'm not from the battle rap era where right. I feel like a nigga can't give me two bars. You bugging. Right. You bugging. Okay, so I'm where do you... I'm so, not from that era, and I have nothing against him. I'm just saying, I'm not from that era. So I don't feel as in-depth as he feels that way in his heart. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I didn't. Okay. Okay, so where do you stand on, like, the Cardi B of it all? Because, you know... Exactly. Peep, she has a ghostwriter. And right. Partisan Fartain is fire. He is. Exactly. So you pro what they got going on? Yeah. Why okay. it's working for her? Right. The fuck out there? But she. So would, do you? So the real question: Do you consider her to be a rapper though? Yeah. Or because entertainer? she writes. She writes some of her shit. I feel like a bloody bar. She that was her shit. There's no writers on it. You could check mm-hmm. some of these shits. Who's mm-hmm. writers? She writes some of her shit. I feel like just her biggest record. She had help, and it's like some people need guidance. Okay. Say like, fuck it. That's fair. Yeah. All right. Now, you want to do a record with your friends? You know, everybody's sending their shit in because y'all wasn't. And wait, in wait, this- to go back on that. Yeah, if yeah. that's the case, we don't like no R and B artists. None of them. Ninety percent of R and B artists do not write their shit. We don't like none of them. We don't barely like Usher. Okay, that's we, T. And you in love with R. Kelly because he wrote mad at everybody's shit. Okay, that's T because I are you talking about older R and B or are you talking about current Ma- too? Majority R and B. Because like I'm a scissor summer Gibby on girl, and I think they be writing their shit. Oh yeah, so we are gonna check their shits after this. Okay, and I bet you they would come to. 
Some of them let me down. Because ninety percent of these girls, period, they have writers. Everybody, even mm-hmm. Ashanti Ben had writers. I don't they think there's anything wrong with Beyonce having writers. had writers. Every Megan Thee Stallion, everybody. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of R and B. Not just I just thought of Megan because I know she got a writer. Mm-hmm. But um, it's mad people. It's okay. Mad. Like Usher had a writer. Chris Brown. I love Chris Brown. Me people too. wrote his songs. Mm-hmm. So writers are just kind of essential in this business. Is what yeah, you're saying? I feel like it's all on your preference. It's who you are. Some right. people will not accept it. Some people will. All right. Well, speaking of writers and needing them, next scenario. You make a song, you on the track with all your friends, and y'all don't have <laughs> y'all don't have time to meet at the studios. So everybody's sending their shit in. One of your friends sends in his track, and that shit is garbage, basura, terrible. What do you do in that situation? Y'all don't got time to do it over, and that's your man's. What do you do when you get the most wackest track? You ask you, him if he feels like it's confident, and he and he say yeah. Then it's either you're gonna kick him off. But what would you do? It's not about... No, yeah, that's what I'm trying to show you. That it depends on the situation. It's like, hey, some people got to live to learn. I would have probably put him in the fire. Oh, you would have put because him on the track? that's what he wanted. And then I don't have to have a full out with my man because I he got to live to learn. He got to see that it wasn't it. That he got to get the reaction. Damn, because I feel like... Do you feel like having a whack verse on a collaborative song like changes the value of the song? It could, but... Um, then you, again, that's a risk bro. you're willing to take. Yeah, it is. And life is all about risk. So. Have you ever felt like you've been that person? Like you was on a, a track with multiple people and you had the whack verse of the song? Of the song? Mm-hmm. Or like not even a whack verse, but the weakest one? I feel like there's songs that I don't like. Mm-hmm. I don't never feel like my verse is the weakest because I'm always relate to what I'm saying. That's the thing mm-hmm. with being a rapper. Mm-hmm. If you're spitting some shit, obviously you relate to it, seen it, or done it. So it's like right. some of this shit I'm really saying. Uh, I know I probably I've liked the other person verse more than mine. Mm-hmm. Like, I had songs like that, like on Say That, mm-hmm. like um, Head and Shoulders. That's true. Okay. Yeah. So it's okay. like, I don't care from. I feel like my verse is last place. I feel like you. I would not, say that. Let me not. Let me not say that's true. Yeah. I feel like you did what needed to be done on this project. Let no, me just no, say no, no, no. this was. But a I will great... also give myself the criticism. I feel mm-hmm. like on that song I'm last place. This certain song we went over this as a group together though. Okay. Where, even though we're not a group, but as a conglomerate, as we did it. Okay. We went over this and we was like, yo, he was the most thirtieth on this verse. He got this. We did that. And I think everybody we was our has. Own critics. Yes. Everybody and has I, their I, time. I, yeah, yeah. Like we all, we all went on. Our own shits and we was like, yeah, he did the worst. Not the worst, like he was the last place. Like we did it one mm-hmm. to three, bro. It's like we know how to rate it. So it's like yeah. I love the accountability. That's mm-hmm. really nice to see. Yeah. Okay, last scenario, because I'm I'm putting you with a lot. All right, you on a yeah. double date with one of your mans. Mm-hmm. He like, yo, I, I got this baddest shorty I ever bagged ever. Like, y'all get to the spot and it's one of the old girls you used to fuck with. What you doing in that situation? I get to the spot and the bitch that's there for me is a girl. No, that, you on a double date, which means you with your girl, he bringing a girl he, who he says oh, is the then, baddest bitch that he ever had. Yeah. And it's a you girl pull, I used to fuck with? Yep. I'm going to tell him. You telling him after or you telling him right there at the table? Nah, I tell him you pulling him to the side or you saying it in front of everybody? I'm, not, I'm pulling the side. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. Wow. So you're going to let him know. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about like your bros fucking with niggas, um, bitches you used to fuck it with? It depends on the relationship with the person. Okay. That's all that matters. I if it was just a fling thing, you good. If it was someone I really had love for, you're disrespecting me and I'm good. I don't need yeah, to Yeah, I personally feel like yeah. if it's somebody who's really worth anything, your bro should know not to fuck with them. But, nah, um, yeah, yeah, but anybody in life should know that. But it's like, right. You know. Anybody. Okay. Um, all right. Well, that ends that game. So we're going to segue back into the music. Um, so, you know, you've been around a long time. You witnessed the rise of drill. You see where it's at now. What do you think about the state of New York hip hop right now? Mm, I feel like uh, it just has nothing but room for improvement. We could just get better and better. We just got to just grow as a unit. But I feel like everyone got to play a part, all working parts, all blogs, mm-hmm. radio. I feel like radio could play more part, but I feel like now that's what the, the, that's the difference now. These kids now don't care to, they don't make music for radio because they don't feel like the radio would accept us. Mm-hmm. And the type is true. So it's like, it is. now niggas just make whatever is hot and do it for numbers and clicks. And I feel like that's not it. People should get back into the sense of trying to actually be creative, make some type of music. Mm-hmm. Don't sound like everybody else. It's like, we all over the place, but hey, it's like we'll get we'll get it together. Mm-hmm. Do you 
Yeah. And we had to do, we had to get a little bit of chaos so some people could shine. Mm-hmm. So it's like fuck it. So do you see longevity in the drill scene? In New I York? feel like drill will never die. I'm just tired of saying this drill. I just want to find another word for it by now. But I feel like this shit been around. It's aggressive music. It's gangster music. I feel like we've been here. Mm-hmm. It's just the production. Production is what makes us label it as drill. Because if you ask me five years ago, I was not a drill artist. Now they would say I'm a drill artist because I rap on these beats. Mm. I've been rapping about aggression, violence, mm-hmm. guns. Doesn't fucking matter. I've seen it. I, like it's like. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I don't know. Fifty Cent was a drill artist to me then. That's interesting. He I rap, wouldn't. He rapped about getting shot. Rapped about shooting. But niggas. do. But then I guess that brings up the conversation of: Do you think that drill is about what they're it, talking about, or about the beats that they're talking about? It's a production because if y'all not gonna say if it's because I would never consider Fifty I, I Cent to be drill. I know you wouldn't. I know you wouldn't. But the, you would consider Fifty Cent and Dipset to be drill. I feel, I feel like they make gangster rap, but it's not yes. drill. How is it not drill? It's not. What's the difference I, between gangster I rap personally, and drill? See, Break it up. I personally feel like drill has a lot more to do with the beats than they do that's than the it, content. That's what we're making it be. Uh-huh. That's, what we're, that's all it is. So that's not what it is. I rap was. on other beats, but no matter what I do, I'm a drill, You're a drill artist. artist. Now, because I, the majority of what people like is on those beats. But I'm not a drill artist in my head. I'm an artist. But to the public, I'm a drill artist. So it's like, hey. But you don't think that has anything to do with the beats that you, no, you just said they like the, the ones case, that you on the drill Jim Jones beats. Rap did a whole mixtape on that. Why is he not a drill artist yet? He did a whole drill mixtape. See, I feel like you can be versatile and make music this on different beats, then. but that doesn't this make you the type of look, artist right, that so you're making. So why am music. I a drill artist? Why am I? Why is if me, Rowdy, and Bobby shouldn't be drill artists then? Personally, I think that it's. It has a lot to do with the music that people that's know that you make. Because I think you make a lot of music, but it's the real question right, is, so are people Mula tapping in? I want to ask this. Do you see Mula as a drill artist? Mm. Thank you. Okay. Is he? Um, he I got to ask because he came out the same time as me, Bobby Rowdy. So I got to ask. because I feel like he has songs that fit into the drill category. Right, but you're not trying to say he's a drill artist. But if he's not, we're all not. But if he is... I never called you a drill artist. No, I know, but people would. And that's all I'm saying is where I don't feel like I am is just, this is the production. Some of these niggas are drill artists because all they fucking rap on is these built beats. But hey, if it's a production, I want to know what makes a drill artist. I be asking this all the time. Is it the production or is it what we rap about? I think it's a combination of both. Yeah. But I, I would like if it's what we rapping about, I'm a gangster artist. Fuck that. I'm dipset. I would consider I you. Be with all these niggas. I would consider Anyways. you a gangster artist that yep. raps on drill beats. You're yep. adapting to yep. the drill shit, that. and that's what people are fucking with. And yep. that may be the reason why they're considering considering you to be a drill artist because that's what they know. That's all I want. That's what I think. I'd rather that than gaga ga, boom. <laughs> what the fuck? So what you saying? Gaga ga, boom was it every drill song? What the fuck? Could never say that. I don't say that. You say pussy. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Love calling niggas pussy. Okay, so now when it comes to the whole like King of New York thing, you know that's very There's big. No but... King of New York, it's done. Mm. Cause in the vein of done. talking about mm. name one, I'm listen, done. It's done. Damn, you not even letting me get a word in. It was Pop Smoke. He's not here. Yeah, Cause okay, he's resting in peace. That's it. He I absolutely that, is. He reach heights that none of us can. Fabio would say he's the king right now. I don't mm-hmm. want to argue with no one. I don't believe I don't I don't bow down to no man, so no man ain't no king in my eyes. Oh okay. fuck what's going on. Okay. So rest in peace to Pop, of course, and I definitely believe that he was king of New York. Mm-hmm. Now, what do you think it'll take for somebody to reclaim that title if you think that it's possible? I don't know. As the king of New got York. The I just hate that everyone's battling for that shit. That shit is corny. Cause you know, like I said, this is we're not we're not in a this is not a monarchy shit. That's what the kings are, right? Monarchy. I'm not with that. No one's my king. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not even in competition for that. I'm so this is a democracy, not yeah, a I'm dictatorship. Yeah, That's I'm what you're saying. That. Yeah, Heard I don't know you. how you could be a king. You got to overrule. You got to control. You got to put on. Mm-hmm. I niggas need to go into depth with kings is. Mm-hmm. If you feel like you're a king, you live up to that. Cause okay. you got to do what kings do. Like okay, niggas just be I respect shit. that answer. Yeah, niggas just say shit to say shit because it sounds cool and it causes controversy. None of these niggas is kings, if you ask me. Um, you You're know king what? of yourself, but the king of a of, of place is crazy. Everyone's a king. Yeah. Everyone's a king. You know, I don't think that it's to cause controversy. Yeah. I think that, you know, 
people really believe it, and there's a and lot of people that will co-sign it and yeah, further that. Yeah, because that's that. what Cloud does, and that's what Numbers does, and it's nobody. Everyone's supposed to believe you're a king. Mm -hmm. But as a New Yorker, I feel like everyone's a superstar, and suck a dick. No one's a king. Okay. Well, with that said, we're going to pivot. Yeah. Say that just dropped not too long ago. That shit was fire. Y'all did what needed to be uh, yeah, done. Yeah, I think we need to be talked about more, though. All right, I'm going to put this in the spotlight. Uh-huh. All right, we ain't getting no back ends, no no radio play. We 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 four drill artists, drill artists. Let me put that in parentheses. I'm not a fucking drill artist. Mm -hmm. Four drill artists. We didn't diss, name drop, nobody on the whole tape. Go through all eight songs. You don't hear nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. know why we don't got so much support. It's so sad. And then he went on this big rant and rave about drill and woo woo woo. But they don't want to give it. And we didn't intentionally do that. We thought about it after. Like, yo, bro, we really did not diss nobody. I'm very happy that y'all did. Yeah. So it's like, come on. That shit, niggas should have just said light on that one situation. But, mm -hmm. hey, I guess uh, a, a positive shit goes unseen. If, if we was talking about shooting and killing niggas and poking them up, yep. we would have been, we would have went viral. It's always the negative stuff that gets yeah. talked on. But why so, do you think that was that you didn't get any back ends, any radio play or anything like that? we didn't do that? nothing negative. And it, it was a little but, last minute, but it doesn't even matter if it's last minute. You can spin it now. There's old records I hear right now spinning on the radio. So it's mm -hmm. like, it doesn't matter. I feel like this music is still here. I should have looked into it, really knew us. Because some of these artists that's on the tape was banned from Rolling Loud for being drill artists. And we're not yeah, dissing them. We no know. One. Yeah. So it's like, I'm surprised it didn't get no, like, not even bust out? Nope. No radio play, no nothing. Nope. Wow. Because that shit is doing numbers. Everybody fuck with that song. Hopefully it picks up now that we're talking about it. Everybody Hopefully, <laughs> Juski, you Jeez. played it. Hopefully, you played it. I don't keep in tune on Sundays, but no one from jail told me. So that's how I know I'm not getting played. Okay. When the jails call you and brrr, yo, bro, your shit on there. You that's how you know. That's how you know. We ain't getting no radio. We streaming uh, right now. We doing what we do. Yeah, because that shit had like 1.5 um, Yeah, million. but we doing what we supposed to. We're not getting the support that we supposed to, but that's cool. Okay, what do you think is missing? Like, as a business owner, because you got your own shit going on, what would you do if this was one of your artists that had dropped the project, wasn't getting no back? And what kind of steps do you think are necessary to, like, kind of get over this that? That's right, yeah. Talk out on it. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah, you want to be heard, you got to speak. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what was it like working with three different artists on normal. a collab? Pro it was normal? Because we all cool. So, it's like, it's like, fuck it. Hey, link up. Stu. And was it a label thing? Uh, nah, they thought of the idea. They thought of the idea. Because like, we didn't just come. We wasn't together. Yo, bro. Yo, yo, yo. No, no, no. They thought of it. But we had to come together. We, we was all together when they brought it up. It's not like they said it separately. Mm -hmm. They brought it up. We looked at each other. We like, don't care. All mm -hmm. of us don't care. We, mm -hmm. like, we don't got no problem. Do that shit. That shit ain't about nothing. They're like, all right. Okay. And yeah. y'all was in the studio. Y'all was sending was the, the verses in. We was in the studio. Okay. All of these songs we did all together. First song was Angels and Demons. That was the first song that set the tape. Mm -hmm. okay. Made the beat from scratch with Louis Bardot. Shout out Louis. My son super fire. Shout out Louis. Yeah. Louis and Brandon, my son B. Can't forget B. Sorry, B. <laughs> yeah. Them two, you know, cooked up the beat. <laughs> Did it. <laughs> I forgot who sung the sample, though. I forgot the girl who sung the sample. So it's, well, she from shout Jersey. out to her, too. I remember she from Jersey, though. She's she was fire. Okay. So that's her original sample. So that's not like no made up shit. Mm -hmm. they, they sung it in studio. Javon gave her the you know the little cadence, and then we got did about. Yeah, I was cooking. Yeah. All right, so the collaboration was great. Mm -hmm. Who are some artists that you would like to see collab that we haven't seen yet that you think would shake the shake the New York scene up a little bit? Hmm. Artists that collab, no, you know. I can't speak for none of them. Hmm? I don't want to speak for them. Nah, let me stop. Uh, let me okay, think. Let me think. Uh, what would be fire? What would be fire? I think it's some, uh, Fabio and Rowdy. Do a tape. Do a tape? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Be fire. Mm. Like, okay. Yeah. Um, what, what about the girls? Because I know you fucking oh, with the ladies. The, ooh, ooh, ooh. Who, Lola, you wanna, who you want to get together? and Connie should do a tape. I'll probably, that'll be fire, oh, Lola right? And that'll be fire. They all got bars. They need to mix it up, be sexy in there. They coach. Mm -hmm. They fire, though. They all fire. I like Okay. That. Okay. Um. All right. So, bust that's down. All three best of both worlds in there. Uh huh. Perfect. Yeah, that's fire. All right. Yeah. Oh, that was a good idea. They need to run with that. Maya, right, Lola, and Connie. You heard uh, yeah, it first. Yeah. All right. Well, um, 
like I said, Bust Down did his thing. 1.5 million on YouTube. Yeah, Video no. looked like a movie. That was the biggest party of the year. That shit looked really crazy. That's I had fun. bitches on bitches on bitches. That's fun. How was that? <laughs> like, what was that like? It was like, um, shit. I don't know. You got to be there. Okay. So tell there. us like something. Y'all got to want to be there. I can't give y'all the feeling. Come pop Not out. Not you. You got to want to be there. I'm did we even get it? Did video. we even get an Time invite, shit. OP? You I can't say did. shit I, like that. Y'all need to press y'all boss about this one. This Damn. Time. Y'all probably did. She's probably busy somewhere else or something. Who big CEO? You got yes, pulled like out. All right. So, so tell like, us something that happened on scene because I know we're having so oh, many people on set. It's something happened? that's bound to happen. So give us like a little tea oh, from yeah, behind the scenes. What happened tea. on set? I had Ross fishing the head with a bottle. Wait, what? <laughs> how did that happen? I was drunk, <laughs> drunk drinking, drinking. Sl- <laughs> psh, psh, psh. No. I was splashing the water. He was right next to me. I end up boom. I'm like, oh my god, bottle flew. I didn't even know I hit him until after. Now nah, the bottle, the hit, it was yeah. bad enough that it hit him. It flew too? Yeah, I had a Casamigo bottle. It flew. It hit him. Boom. Flew. I didn't even know. And, and people start reacting like, oh, yo. And what he did after that? He was tight. Getting hit in the face with a bottle but with bad knew, bitches around but, is but you OD. Know, I was really, it wasn't intentional, but he was tight. Came to me like, yo, bro, you really hit me in my foot. I was like, yo, bro, I, <laughs> I was drunk already. Yo, bro, we... It just happened. You seen I was fast. Uh huh. He's like, this wasn't about nothing. And I really felt like because he knew it wasn't intentional, and right. I was really doing something. I was trying to interact for the video. Mm-hmm. So if I wasn't doing nothing, and it would have been a little different. Yeah. yeah. So okay, of course, being on set, like I said, the ladies was on deck. I know you are in a relationship yeah, now. Yeah. So how does that work when it comes to you being in this industry, having to be a lot around easy. a lot of women? And having a girlfriend. Nah, I've been easy, so. though, but I feel like it's because of uh, our communication. And it's really like this. Like, um, I had to give an example like this. Like, you don't see Lala um, and Carmelo fighting over her having sex scenes on power. Because I'm just like, real to me. Oh, uh, if of all people, you had to bring them up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're they not together Sorry. no more. But, but I, I catch it. But dress. at the beginning, they didn't, uh, we don't know if they broke up off of her acting career, but it's like, yeah, I, I, I get I get what you're saying. Yeah, that's though. what I'm saying. It's a, it, this is a different part of my life. If I don't play this pro, it's like, what you want me to do? You want me to be with all of these girls and do this, right? Do this right here. Who the I fuck mean, no, be me you gotta interact. Who the fuck you gotta live do my you. life. <laughs> Who wanna listen to my verse when everybody was just lit and I'm here like you sitting there chilling, you, watching from do? the sidelines. Think I'm like, this nigga, he's light skinned. See, it shows. He's light skinned. Oh, he's bougie. He's feeling himself. Yeah. Nah, so I had a... <clears throat> but is that you something... You can call me. I'll leave the phone up. We can do behind the scenes. I'm gooch. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I'm gooch. But that's inter- that shows your insecure now. So now when you start getting bunned out, you gooch. I mean, I thing. think... You're going to be there. Why are you on the phone? I'm not live my life. You want to be here? Okay. I mean, well, this is now. You yeah. know, now I think that when you're dating somebody like yourself, you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. So I do think that there's a level, a level of security you have to have within yourself yeah. to do stuff like that or yeah, to date someone like that. that. Your head, like, Yo, bro. But it wasn't always like that. I feel like you haven't always just been out there no, and, you know, <laughs> you, like the ladies didn't always know what to expect. Yeah. So do you set the tone beforehand or is it something that you just kind of, you either get with it or get lost? You just do it. You get with it or get lost. Yeah, it's like, but this is my career. So if it's if it's if it's for my best intention, I have no ill intentions. Mm-hmm. I'm doing it. Okay. Because I feel like I'm gonna explain myself. If you feel like I I, I violated it, and it's like I, I'm gonna stand on it. Mm-hmm. If I really feel like what I did was not wrong. I'm good. Okay. We're going to battle. It's like, it's a debate now at this point. I'm good. I'm going to fuck. Okay. Now, one thing I will say about your relationship, I, first of all, I love when a hood nigga got a, a girlfriend and like, he's actually posting her. Huh? Like, we can see what y'all doing. Love that. That's like, everyone loves. how did you get to a place where you felt comfortable posting your girl? And what was the vetting process like for? I feel like I just, uh, um, um, I don't, I uh, I didn't want to do the same shit. I was just in a relationship. It was just, uh, the, the circumstances was different. My other relationship, so it was just so different. Mm-hmm. And her in a position, she's able to move how I want her to. Mm. It's like. She, how's that? Um, She has money. So she can. Okay. I'm like, I don't need to be with her to keep her protected. She can protect herself. Okay, okay, she okay. She has okay, a gun you. license. She lives in Florida. So it's like, mm-hmm. a certain shit, it's like, I don't, it's less stress on me. It's mm-hmm. like. 
she'll travel certain ways. She'll get a private driver. She'll make sure she book it. Mm -hmm. It's like, because she's getting popular too as herself. Like me promoting you, people like you, people don't like me. It's a certain shit. Someone might follow you to get to me. Mm -hmm. So you got to think, and the worst, it's like, yeah, she, her life's changed as being with me, but I feel like that. You're going to do that for someone you love, but right. feel Ooh, like you love. Her. Someone Quitter. you love. Yeah, I so love like, that. Yeah, so it's like. We love you, girl. <laughs> and I love that for y'all. <laughs> nah, but yeah, I feel like, I, I just, I feel like uh, I'm getting older too. So it's like, man, I like how, like, I mean, you don't want to keep doing the same shit. I never did it before. So it's no point mm -hmm. in me not doing it. Right. And I might as well. I start learning. Like, I feel like I've been preserved. And that's what holds me back from certain shit. So if I could, I could show this. I don't have no problem showing it. So why not show it? Mm -hmm. And you were saying, like, you know, she got her own. She can handle herself financially. Yeah. Was that something that you were looking for when you started dating her? I feel like just... I started looking for it more. N yeah, I have started looking for it, but that wasn't a main priority. I feel like niggas don't have a problem building a girl. Mm -hmm. like, I don't. I never did. But it's not like that's. I don't want to find you. and You have nothing. Right. It's not the goal. <laughs> not to go, but I have no problem helping out. But no, did I expect to find her? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. She found me, so that's how life works. And I wasn't, so that's what made it more organic. I feel like that's what made her fuck with me more because there's people that just want to fuck with her because she got money. Mm -hmm. So it's like. Mm -hmm. And of course, I think that what you say is she found you. I know that you have the ladies in your DMs. I know yeah. that they rolling in. So like, what is it when somebody reaches out to you or like shoot they shot? What is it about the way that they approach the situation that makes you want to like? I feel like she had cheat codes it? already. She was just a, okay. Yeah, she already had cheat codes. Okay, she, she drew my. She, I'd say that she, she she knows this. Fuck it, <laughs> she drew my attention already. But I felt like she upholded herself. Like I didn't know. I didn't. I asked around. Regular shit. You gonna do? You ask around. Mm -hmm. I ain't really hear nothing. I didn't hear nothing. So it's like what? It's like what? Mm -hmm. I got to find out now. I got to find out for myself. Feel like you're successful. You could be capped because I don't believe the internet. So all of that, you look good on the internet. And shit, <laughs> right, like, right. You look successful. You could be dead. Looks pop. can be definitely you, deceiving. You be pop. So yeah. it's like fuck it, and it could have been the same way with me. So it's like it go hand in hand. So it's like mm -hmm. I mean, we're just feeling each other out, and it just happened. Okay, it's like any other thing. It, all of these relationships, are, internet relationships, are not for sure. Mm -hmm. so it's like. And I know that you you fuck with G Herbo. He mm -hmm. was saying in an interview that he wasn't going on dates at first. Like he his first date was with Ari, mm -hmm. um, and they went out. And his man's was like talking bad on him because he was mm -hmm. actually taking a woman out on a date, and that's mm -hmm. not usually what they do. So, do you go on dates or do you keep it low key? I feel like uh, no, nah, I'm feel, I, I keep my shit to yeah, I, I'm my shit is straight. Okay, my shit is set up. All so right, I'm safe. I'm but I'll go on a date, but I'm going to have, I'm going to take extra precautions, like how you were saying. Mm -hmm. I definitely am because I'm in a different light. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to every place. You can't just send me somewhere and, yeah, we're going there. No. No, what the fuck you think? Oh, going? my gosh. Yeah, yeah, I just issue. stopped fucking with a nigga that did that, and it pissed me off. Well, yeah, like, I good. understood it. Yeah, I'm not but going where you tell me so to go. It's so annoying. We end up going there, but now on the day you told me, I'm prescribed. I'm like, like why not? Like, we want to be a little spot, spontaneous. Who the fuck is in there? I do shit like, I'm good. I'm taking extra precautions. So what's the difference between me telling you the day we going and you coming up with the day that we going? You oh. don't know who's going to be there regardless. I'm good. Oh, no, that's what I'm saying. I might book out a whole room. Pay extra <laughs> oh, private this year. I want no one seeing me. Y'all go in the spot, look how I set up. Y'all got private rooms? I need that because I don't want to be seen by no one. I feel like I'm a person of interest. I want to pay for my protection. I'm okay. Good. Well, shit. This is me shooting my shot. The niggas that book the private yes, rooms, yes, I'll let you your girl because yes, that's, yes, that's, yes. that's that's my type of language. Okay, so what do you think about like the YouTube couples? Is that something that you would be mm. interested in doing? Like the whole YouTube thing? Uh, no. I'll do it if it's organic. I'm not doing nothing. Some of them shits be seeming mad fake and forced. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's why y'all niggas need to follow me with a camera. Me setting a camera up like, hey, guys, today now <laughs> we're going to make cookies. Fuck out of here. That's yeah. your YouTube impression? That's fake. <laughs> fake. <laughs> fake as shit. I'm going to be real as shit on that shit. Like, what? This shit's nasty. I think out. it's possible. So then what do you think about like the YouTube niggas like Booba and Naughty Cuz? They, they my man. They kids. That's the excuse. That's it. I'm done. They're younger. They're not kids. Mm -hmm. They're young adults. I'm a growing adult. Right. Because you was in one of the videos. No, nah, I fuck with them. Uh -huh. I fuck with their content. I have nothing against it. But I'm just saying, like, some of this shit, I do feel like it's corny. I mm -hmm. don't know. I told them that, so I'm not scared to say it. Mm -hmm. Some shit is corny to me. I'm a little bit older. Mm -hmm. So some shit is really fucking corny to me. Right. So I am not playing that. Right. Some shit, I'm Jack. 
They are funny. So what you think about like playing the ops music in front of you and using the ops lingo? I feel like and... certain shit is just like, yeah, yeah. I feel like I just know Boop is a joke. So he does that and I have to laugh it off. Mm -hmm. I may have rough him up to let him know like, yo, this is what I could do. But in all reality, uh, bro, who mm -hmm. do I look like bullying Booper? I feel like a, a bozo. I mean, and I think that that's what they want. Like, it's kind of like... The, they want to get yeah, a rise out of y'all. Yeah, if it was the real, if it ever really got to where I really wanted to take it, it would never get posted. So right. It's okay. Not the real Heard episode. you talk yeah. that shit. All right. So outside of music, what where, what do you see for yourself? You know, you're talking about the money. You're talking about, you know, you're getting it. What, what in let's say 10 years, where will we see OP? 10 years, where do you see me? Mm -hmm. um, um, plaques of my own. Have plaques for my label. I feel like being a label exec. You're gonna see me as man, like um, I'm gonna be bigger than Stephen Victor. That's big. Yeah. Okay. Now you still in New York? You moving? Oh, I don't. Know. I don't know. Wherever. I don't give a fuck. I'm Whatever's passport happening. gang now. Passport yeah. gang. Wait, Stand hold on. Up. So you would move out the country? Yeah, I would. Really? Yeah. Where would you move to out the country? Only place right now that's like the United States is the UK. Oh my god, I want to go to the UK. That's so the only bad. Place. But I never been there yet, but that's the only place I heard. After visiting okay. a couple places, I don't know yet. I gotta visit there. If I jack it, I love weed. So mm -hmm. that weed better be fire, bro. You know she where they say so you talking about UK fire. Amsterdam, oh, not too far. Oh my that shit is trash, I heard. They In Amsterdam? Be, they weed. Wow, that's we crazy because that's what that. everybody talk about. Like when yeah, they talk about it's so smoking legal, and it's blah, so big, blah, blah. Yeah, but we got better weed than them. That's oh what shit, that's tea. Yeah, that's what they say. So I wanna go. If it's just trash, I'm gonna be so upset. Because you could have stayed home. home for all of that. Um, okay. So what can we expect coming from you next? Like, what's up next? I know you got your Brother's Keeper album um, coming out. Man, I might have more collaboration mm -hmm. tapes. I don't want to speak too soon. Might be doing more shit. But, man, just working. Staying as focused as I can. Consistent. Just showing the growth. For all the haters. Suck my dick. I'm just getting better and better. I'm just going to show y'all that. Uh, keep getting working. money. Um. Um, man, and yeah, um, work on my artists. Keep promoting Moolah while he's gone until he come back. Man, regular shit. I don't count nobody out. You feel me? I would never do that. Looking for, always looking for new artists. Don't start flooding me with bullshit. If that shit's trash, keep it to yourself. Niggas be trying to shoot they artist shot. And I at least have some type of foundation. At least have that video too already. Don't think you're going to come to me, brand new artists, and I'm, this is not artists. I develop artists, but not from zero, nigga. Should not be done. Yeah. <laughs> so like, does that happen though? Like yeah, they, it does. Be, they and be I'm just trying to be real now. I gotta let it be put out there because I'm putting it out there that y'all can hit me. Don't have zero to nothing and think yo, bro, have something to show at least. Give me a resume. It's like going to a job. You have nothing and it's like you're the last on the list, bro. Probably go to you when I'm desperate and do it look like I'm desperate. No. So I don't want to fuck them on y'all. <laughs> the fuck, bro. So what, they got to have a couple videos, a project? Yes, bro, a couple videos, songs. I don't. You don't have to have a video for every song. Mm -hmm. At least do, try to do a video before. Show me you put some effort into it. Okay. Like, don't just come to me and think I'm going to... Like, someone said the real shit. A manager manages shit. They manage what you got going on. If you have nothing going on, what the fuck am I manage? What are you supposed to manage? What am I going to do? You're giving me nothing to work with. I got right. nothing to work with, fella. So it's like, hey, move up. Okay. All right, but yeah, you could look for that, man. Me show more person, ah, personality. No, I'm on. Tongue twister. All right, yeah, more personality. Man, I'm going to just be in your face, man. Y'all can't erase me. Y'all yeah, can't get rid of me. Yeah, I see you. You about to start posting a little TikTok videos. I saw that, too. Nah, 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 What you mean? Nah, 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 Hold on, so that means you lied. Nah, nah, And I don't want, I don't want. more content on TikTok. I don't want you. You got me thinking I'm posting TikTok video. I'm going to start. Step to the left. Okay, I feel like. I don't do that. I can't. I just think that that's such a I'm 2018, 2019 response. I'm fucking TikTok with you. is not a dancing app, y'all. I'm fucking with you. Not Put your shit got. on TikTok. On, Get your personality TikTok, out cooking, there. Cooking, you know, air fryer recipes, you know. Yeah, air fryer Living like recipes. a nigga. <laughs> uh-huh. Air frying my way through everything. Probably hot stove like I'm in the trench. Listen, air fryer slap. All right, yeah. anything else that you want to set the record on? Anything you want to talk uh, on real quick before free we Free scrap, free chef, free sleepy. RP Pop Smoke, RP all everybody that died. RP on my fallen soldiers. Man, just stay focused. Stay at music. Um, man, sign the 1090 Music Group. We the new Burger Gang. Only if you actually work in We the new motherfucking, oh, I said Burger Gang, cash money. Burger Gang 2 in the streets, you know, holla at me. But um, anyways... Man, look out for me. I'm just 
moving and grooving and improving. And oh yeah, yo, if y'all ever doubted me, yo, listen to Ty Dye, bro. If y'all don't like that, y'all could suck my dick. Simple yeah, as that, and that's bro. that on that. So let them know. Simple. Let I'm them know done. where to find you before you walk off. Oh, how nah, they gonna to how leave. they gonna listen oh. if they don't even know where to find it? Man, looking for my face. I'm licensed. <laughs> Nah, let me stop playing. That's some Listen. funny ass shit. That's some that's some real cocky shit. Anyway, on point like OP on all platforms. I don't do Twitter. I might get on there to pop shit like Kanye. Mm. Gotta get him pop my shit. TikTok, the real on point like OP. Someone had on point like OP. I was gonna say something. Hold that shit. down. Hold that down. Um, Facebook, don't fuck with that. That's not for me. Yeah, I think we've passed the Facebook. Yeah, era. we just gotta grow and glow. We all Agreed. glow up. Definitely agree with that. Well, thank you for stopping by, OP. Well, make sure y'all fuck with Talk of the Town. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. You know how we get that. All right, y'all. We off this.